In this video, we present our technique for explanting an intraocular lens. In a case of refractive surprise, after phaco surgery in a patient with previous LASIK more than 15 years ago, we will use the so-called Pacman technique through a 2.4 mm corneal incision, under topical anesthesia. The first step is of course to inject dispersive OVD to coat the corneal endothelium. Notice that we introduce a few air bubbles intentionally. These will act as visual indicators for maneuvers in close proximity to the endothelium. Then, cohesive OVD is injected to create space in the anterior chamber, as well as to gently loosen the IOL from the capsular bag. Now we create space in the bag posteriorly to the IOL optic, in order to safely accommodate the IOL cutting scissors. The critical step in this surgical technique, is to create a slice on the IOL optic. Therefore, the cutting scissors is introduced through a 2.4 mm corneal incision placed in the steepest meridian, while a chopper is placed through an opposing corneal sideport, and maneuvered to provide counter-traction, while the scissors are gently advanced passing the center point of the optic. The first cut is created, and gentle rotation of the IOL is performed, turning about 60 to 90 degrees in order to perform a second cut, aiming to create a slice of about a quarter of the optic area. This is a delicate maneuver, the second instrument should alternate between being be placed above the optic, to protect the corneal endothelium, and also gently pushing the IOL towards the cutting scissors. A second cut is complete, and now we have a slice on the IOL optic which we need to remove. This can be done by careful controlled mechanical traction on this area, and, if required, a third cut can be done on the apex of this IOL slice to complete the section and release the segment. There it is, the Pacman optic. The bigger the slice the easier the next step will be, but you will notice how efficient this technique is, even in a lens with such large haptics and overall diameter. A toothed forceps will be used to grab an edge of the IOL optic. Then the lens is pulled towards the corneal incision and controlled pulling and rotating movements are repeated. Only a few attempts are required until the IOL rolls out of the interior chamber, exiting through the corneal incision. Here it is. The Pacman IOL explant surgical technique is complete. Now we implant the newly calculated IOL. The same preloaded monofocal model is chosen and implanted in the capsular bag. Passive irrigation aspiration cannula is used to completely remove the OVD from the anterior chamber. The corneal incisions are hydrated and this refractive surprise case is now resolved, using this classical and efficient surgical technique. 